Right, so 24 hours later, shaking it three times during that. Let it settle uh, before the end, you know, before this bit. Uh, now what you want to do is, you should have some some of the sediment at the bottom again. Most of it's still in this at the minute though. So to get rid of this quickly, use 24 hour turbo clear. This would clear itself, but we're doing it the quickest way possible. You know, there are easier ways, but this is the quickest way. So you want to now, you want to siphon this out again into a clean bottle, leaving the sediment at the bottom. So it will still look the same, but there'll be quite a lot of sediment left at the bottom. So the next video will be in a, it'll look like this again, but you've left the sediment behind in another bottle. Right, so we've changed the bottle. This is a clean bottle. You can sterilise these bottles each time you do it if you want. I don't bother and it's never affected mine. This is the last step now, which is the 24 hour turbo clear. You have two sachets, A and B, and it gives you the instructions on the back. But all you want to do, this needs to go in here, but this is for 25 litres again. So what I do, I open both the bottle, the bags up, put them into a little bottle. Because for 5 litres you're literally going to need 3 or 4 drops of A and probably a couple of teaspoons of B. But I'll show you that now, but I've put mine into a little bottle like that and the other one, the other bag in a bottle like that. Just so you can store them, because obviously once this is opened, you know, you can't store it in a bag. Right, before you put this in, give this a good shake again, get rid of any CO2. It'll say this on this bag. And then, I've worked this out roughly. I worked it out. For three litres, you want to add one quarter teaspoon. Now that's a quarter teaspoon, tiny little thing, you will add one of those, and it's only about, I don't know, six or seven drops, so you put one of these in, give this a good shake like I said, put one of these in, just feel like that, just sort of put that in, And then you give it a gentle stir or shake. And what I tend to do is just give it a bit of a, just give it a little slush around, nothing vigorous. Little slush around. I should do it, maybe a little bit more. Just gets it. And then loosen the top off again. And the reason I do that is because if there is any CO2 in there, or whatever, carbon, you know, it will just come out anyway. If you leave the lid on, it will build up. So just leave the lid on like that. And then what you do, you come back in two hours and you put in the second one, B. So in two hours, we'll be putting that in. Yeah, actually me saying three litres, yeah. It's a quarter teaspoon for three litres. So you want to add a little bit more than that. So maybe one or two drops more. But that's all. Literally, I mean, a couple of drops more. Right, two hours later, you want to put sachet B in. Or, because we're doing 5 litres, you just want to put a bit of that in. And I've worked it out, for 3 litres, you want to put in 1 teaspoon. So this would be about 1.5 teaspoons. Now this spoon here, this is, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, this is half a teaspoon. So, let's say 1.5. So if you put 3 of those in, put them in, and then you give it a gentle stir again. Yeah, 
so just put three half teaspoons in that should be enough and again just sort of let it drip in don't um don't stir it up too much afterwards either add a little bit extra if you want Give this a little sort of shake, just a gentle, you don't want to go mad. I don't know if you can see this, but this has already started to settle anyway. It's hard to see on camera, but the top of it's grey and then it's dark down the bottom. Now all you got to do, don't do the lid right up again, just leave it, um, let the air out, you know, gas out just in case leave this for 24 hours and it will eventually leave all of the charcoal at the bottom and you'll have completely clear alcohol. The only thing I would say if you're using a bottle like this with the ridges every couple of hours I'll show you this later give it a little tap because some of the charcoal will stick to the edges of the sort of groups so if you just give it a little tap like that you know it won't work now but when it starts to clear you'll see it give it a little tap and it will let them bits settle down at the end you should have the booze cleared with the sediment at the bottom and then you siphon that out and then you're done and then we'll just do that last bit when that's done which is like i said in 24 hours time